Chance the Rapper came up with a new album last Friday, and it was called The Big, Ga the Big Day. The Big Day is essentially a 22-track torture chamber with 77 minutes of runtime. Let me tell y'all, this Chance the Rapper album it was tough to get through. What the fuck is this? Lots and lots of features, some of which are kind of bad, corny skits. As long as hell, and damn. No. No! No! Offensive vocal performances. No! No! It's crazy, inconsistent, and spikes in terms of album quality, content, and ability. What is this? I wanna, I wanna know what this is. Chance's worst bars to date the worst ones on nearly every track here. So I just watched a Breakfast Club interview with Chance the Rapper. Chance the motherfucker. Where he discusses, amongst other things, his recent trip to Africa and specifically Ghana. Speaks to, obviously, the backlash that he received after the big day. And he spoke to just what he's working on right now. Specifically, a lot of art specific visual art that he's he's working on with different artists and it kind of highlights the direction of where he's going to go with this album i think he's going to go into this very heady lyrical space i think we're going to kind of get a kendrick lamar-ish mr morale-ish type album from him it's, it's not going to be the big day it's not going to be very pop-ish it's going to be very artsy and i don't know if that's something that we're feeling from chance I feel like I am one of the hardest people to to please musically because I I want you I want artists to step outside their box and do different things, but I also hate that that different has to align with somebody else's different. Like, why is it now, Chance? All of a sudden, you have to, you you have to have this 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 deep heady album. Why now? Could it have anything to do with Cole Kendrick? Any of these guys, even even Badass's album is pretty go pretty dope. Two thousand, like, why now? Why? Like, how about you give us that when you gave us Big Day? Oh, but but you know, Fast and Poppy was the was was the go when Big Day came out, and that's what you gave us. And yeah. so now the go is deep in thought, lyrical. Like, but why why man? Different means what everyone else is not doing. Not, oh, a few selective rappers have chosen to do this very different thing. So I'm a, it's the same thing with the fucking Afrobeats. It's the same thing. It's like, it's niche, but it's really not because the people who are doing it are the biggest people in the game. Yeah. So you still follow and you just only follow in that very niche crowd. The single has Joey Badass on it. And he, speci he specifically in the interview mentioned... Kendrick's album. So it's very it clear. I fucking hate it. So it's here. very clear <laughs> that he is taking a direction <laughs> from it. something. I hate it here. I swear to God, I did not put Joey Badass in here because of that. Because of that single, I swear I didn't. No, I'm. I'm just telling you that you're. You're. You're right. It's coming from a inspired by my peers type thing. Yes. Yeah, stop that. Vic is all that over is it. That is not different. It's that's not different. Pulling from your peers is not different. If they've already done it, do something they haven't done. I will also say, from what I've heard, very lyrical. So, okay. if you're looking for that from Chance, seems like he's going back that way from the whole poppy side of things. Because you, you know what that's going to do? You know what's going inevitably, to inevitably end up making me do? It's going to make me compare whatever this album is to Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. It's going to make me compare whatever this album is to 2000. I and if think it falls you're definitely short, going to do that with yeah, this album. If it falls short, then now it doesn't fall short just because it was a subpar album. It falls short because it fell short of two of the top ten albums of the year. But you, you've you done that, though. You set yourself up to, to do that. So, I mean... The expectations have come from that, and so we yeah. have no choice really but to compare it to exactly. those exactly. albums. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I do like that we're kind of stepping away from what we got from the big day. And also, he, he seems kind of butthurt about <laughs> the backlash that he got from Fam, the big day. It, was, it wasn't good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, butthurt in the sense that, like, instead of addressing it seriously, he looked at it like, well, 
you know, I'm the rapper. This is what I do. And so, you know, forget forget what the haters have to say. Like, I'm just going to go out there and try to make the best music oh that I can. God. And it's just like. We've lost a generation, uh, man. We, we've lost. This is why I always feel so old when I'm, you know, when I'm around people that are younger than me or, or the same age. I feel so fucking old because it's this mentality that's like anytime somebody says something about me that I don't like, they're a hater. No, the haters are the ones that say the things that are unfounded. That is a hater. Yeah. Someone trying to give you some perspective on your crap is not hating. It, it's just telling the damn truth. He believes that somebody ascribed it with the mentality of, oh, it's poppy and it's oh so it much. Poppy. Of, it's poppy and it's oh so much of I love my wife. And because of that, the whole like everybody just kind of took that and ran with it as opposed to everybody just having the same thought. It's more hive mind than everybody just kind of being on what's the same. The, what's the hard song on, on Big Day? Like what's what's the gangster song on, 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 on Big Day? What is it? Hot shower? <laughs> Cauliflower? <laughs> Tangerine? Sweet and sour? Your lawyer say it's urgent, call him in an hour? That's, that's... Damn, you know the lyrics pretty well. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Fam, now I'm nervous. Because yeah. it seems like he didn't look at that and say, oh, okay, the fans didn't want it, let me do something. They didn't like it, let me do something else. It sounds like you bought into the idea that projects are unsuccessful because of review bombing, which is the lame brain type of shit that movie studios do that perpetuates bad films over and over and over and over again. So that's why I'm nervous. As you should about, be. I'm, I'm very you know. torn about what's coming because I, I do feel like he's in a different headspace and so it could work. But again... Some parts of that headspace seem problematic. That's a fallacy. Projects are not unsuccessful because they get review bombed. Yeah. They get review bombed because they were unsuccessful. Yes. Avengers Endgame did not get review bombed. 444 did not get review bombed. Do you think that those projects did not have detractors? They got drowned out because the project was popular. I feel like we need to go back to fucking school, man. Like, Jesus Christ. Or we just need to back off the social media a little bit. Probably. Probably. Probably.